Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a little box. So this is the Lit Joy Crate for June and I cannot remember the theme. I think it was Mythical Gods, I believe. Because I said I think I was really excited. Now I'm not gonna show the top because obviously the job has my address on it. So I'm gonna try from if you've not seen the video with the Akimento with and she just uploaded, I am going to see if this opens it. Because if it does, I'll probably use it more. Yeah, I know it's only for little openers, but it's gonna be fun just to try it. Haha. -ha. I might be able to use it for a bit. Okay, so if you don't know what Lit Joy Crate is, it's a bookish subscription box that can give you a book and bookish book goodies. But for Fairy Loot, they um, for Lit Joy Crate, you can have three options. The first option is that you can have the full box with the book and the goodies. You can have the book only box, which is the book with the little stuff you can get in the bag, or you can have the items only, which you get. Literally all the items inside. So you open it up, and here's the stuff you see inside. <coughs> we have some. I don't want to pop them. Um, clean cross off so let's move that out of the way. Anyway, so we have the first thing is a lip balm. So I've got like this might, might be my eighth one. This is the Goddess of Dreams and the scent is citrus. So let's have this as scent. Oh, okay, so the colour is like an orangey green, orange, and it's very citrusy, it's nice, I do like that. So that's a go to go into my pile of lip balms that I now will own. Okay, what's this? Ooh, we got swatchy tape by the looks of it. Lip joy crate, let's come on. Where's the Come on. Oh, what the? Finkles Chris. Okay, I can't get into it, I can't actually open it, but it's washi tape. There's that. Okay. So, I believe we got something in the box, which their boxes are always in good packages. Now, I believe they said that this month was going to have a tea cup in it or something like that. I believe. Am I correct? I am correct. So they do these collectible teacups, which I find really adorable, and I believe this is the Percy Jackson one. Okay, so you probably just saw me blank out for a bit. Nice. So we have this Percy Jackson teacup. Which, I oh my god, these are like, little, these are adorable, so they're like, not that big, I really think. So that's adorable. And then to go with it, we should have the plate as well. There we go. That's so pretty. I think this is the reason why I wanted to get this box, is because it has the Percy Jackson item. I don't have hardly anything of Percy Jackson, except from a coaster. And now we have this. And it goes like that, so like, you see like that? Mm. So I do like it, it's very pretty. Okay. What's this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just think, oh my god. Okay, so the next thing I'm opening is this ancient book of the uh, Norse mythology, Legend of the Valkyrie. This just might look like just a notebook. So that's what it looks like without the cover on it. Yeah, it's just literally like a painter, but look at that artwork though. That's pretty cool. Is there one on the other side? If I can find it. No, there's something on the bank side, but that's very cool. I like, if you like that. Um, Legend of Valkyrie. That's pretty cool. That's very cute. 
Okay, so we have the art information sheet, which we'll go through that at the end. Um, we have our tarot cards, which we do get every month by the looks of it. I do plan to get their tarot card box they get because their tarot cards seem to be, uh, well, they're playing cards, sorry, seems to be a bit smaller than the actual uh, ones you get from Feraloom. So we have these two here, which looks to be like Hunger Games. I do have Twilight ones, which I'll add them to them, but that's really cool. We've got the Ten of Clubs and the Club of Jack Clubs, whatever it is. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Then we have the author's note that you get with the book. I obviously got this. This is what the items owe me as well. I didn't realise that in my first box last fall. Last one. Um, they actually have this in there, which is this one here. So there's that. It's a nice pretty ironwork. I do like that. Mm. Hmm. Then we have this. It says introducing the glittery classics, the romantic collection featuring artwork by Ava Claire, superstar fighter, pride and produce, produce. I can't say it. Whether in heights or Jane Eyre. So these, we got this one first. So this is the pride and produced one, um, which is available now. The second one is available on the twenty first, uh, March the first, twenty twenty one, next year. And same with the third book, or the September the 1st next year. So they have these uh, like beautiful artwork. <coughs> Excuse me. These beautiful artworks on it, I think they're amazing. Okay, so I've really got my eye. Is that this? Okay, this is something they said there was going to be a Hercules item in it. And I did not expect this. I think. Like, let Joy Create and Fair Loop must have something to in go in because if you remember, in another book, one I've just recently just unboxed the Fair Loop, the May one, we had a wooden spoon. We have a chopping board with the Gotham uh, Truth Girls on it. That is so cool. It's each of it is been sketched on to, like engraved to it onto it, and I find that really cute. I don't want to use it. But that's like amazing. It's like you just want to hang it up and not use it at all. Is that weird? At the back it does have the Lit Joy Crate um, logo on it. That's actually amazing. That's so cool. I think that's the best item I've got so far. On the teacup. Oh. Lit Joy, you have done it again. Okay, so we're going to go through our little thing. As I was correct, Dune's Think was Mythical Gods. Um, so they had the Just Jackets, Sisters of the Sword and the Song. So I don't think I actually own that book myself. So if I don't get it, then I'll probably end up getting the book so we can have it with the um, author's note. Then we got, here's the author note. Um, it says, I'm a freelancer uh, actor currently located in Montreal, uh, Canada. Um, I have a few fandoms, but what, the one I've been loyal to since I was young is Star Wars. The original t uh, original trilogy was always my go-to movies. Okay, so I don't know if I would actually like that then. If it's just something to do with like, like, for, uh, like Star Wars, I'm actually a big fan of Star Wars. But I will give it a go, don't worry. Uh, a favourite book of mine of series would, would have been Harry Potter is classic, which brought uh, so many of us into the magical space and spurred a love of reading. But another series that I adore is his Dark Materials trilogy. I always got stuck in that world. Okay, so there's that. Um, so here's what you got a bit about the author and the book. We don't have the book obviously so we can skip that page. So it says on here the literary edition of the system of the bone. We've got that blah blah blah. So the Percy Jackson mini teacup which is this. I cannot wait to put this somewhere. That's adorable. Well, tea, tea cup collection is a vital, uh, a missing, a vital, a vital fandom. Get ready to everyone to add everyone's favourite dem demigod, Percy Jackson. Another fusion of traditional mythology with new characters and adventures in the Percy Jackson series. Just like we've held hard for the mix of traditional classical setting with a new mythical god and magic in the sis of the sword and the song. This literal collection tea cup is dishwashable and multiple safe and is made of porcelain. Beautiful artwork is created by Nera Feather. That's cool, I do like that, and I believe they're doing more of these cups. We've got the Sneers inspired washi tape. 
Um, let's join the worship of ancient Greece and Rome as they hearken to the mythical gods and goddesses, as we dive into the pages of Sister Swords and Song, as we remind how we felt reading this again. Okay, so that is pretty cool. Then we've got the Strange the Dreamer inspired Goddess of Dream chapbook. I'm sorry if I didn't re recognise it, it's because I have not read it. Like, from Lit Joy Crate or Fairy Loop, if I have not read the book and I do not know where it's from, like, it's, I haven't read it yet. I do plan to get more of the books. I'm guessing they're slowly. Okay. I'm literally on the book two of the Inferno of Devices book two. Hello. So, it says on here, she was like a springtime distilled into her person, Strange Redeemer. Uh, so, no liberal of the mythical gods and goddesses would be complete without mention of, uh, mention of Soha and her siblings. So, if I do pronounce that wrong, I do apologise. The orphaned goddess of weep. Uh, trapped in the cathedral high above the forgotten city, Sahara um, visits the world only through the dreams of the city inhabitants. Along to the day, she can experience the beautiful flavours and the holistic life of the city behind. The citrus, such as it is as sweet as the goddess of dreams herself. Okay, so that is definitely good. I can't wait to use that. I have like loads of lip balms already. So we have the Hercules cutting board, which I freaking love. I can't believe we got this. Hercules, honey, you mean Hercules. So that's what she says in the um, movie. Um, I find that there because every time someone mentions Her uh, Hercules, it kind of reminds me of that scene. Because obviously it's the beginning. If you like this endless watch your VR copy of Disney Hercules in the 90s, you will recognise his fabulous music. These babes narrated that her son of Hercules, son of, son of Zeus, and one of the well-known gods of Greek mythology. Many of these um, lovely muses includes one delicious dish after another in your kitchen. Note, each cutter board will be a variation in the wood grain and the burnt design. Wait, cutting boards will have, will have variations. Wait, is there a variation for these? Oh. If there is, I might have to check everyone else's video out. Ooh, that'd be interesting if there's a variation for that. I wonder if what else anyone else watched. So this is, it's made from bamboo and it's dishwasher safe, but hand wash is recommended. I will definitely would do that. Um, then we, yeah, so these, we have the trading cards for um, Hunger Games. We have Finnick and Gale, so I believe this one here is Finnick, this one on the left this one is gale i believe don't quote me on that <laughs> presenting the final two cards in the literary con games training card set finnick and gale so, okay so these are the final two. Oh no okay so i need to try and get the other two of these and um, the other lot of the trading sets because i've got the twilight and i've got the hunger games but i need to get the other set apparently and um, then we have the legend of the valkyrie notebook this one is the legend of the valkyrie notebook uh, we love the strength and courage displayed by the Evid and Hal uh, Kutzon from Sisters of the Sword and the Stone, Sword and the Song, and immediately linked them to the Valkyrie. Badass female warriors of Old Norse mythology. Pretty much. Okay, so there's June Ops uh, add ons, which it was on there. So you could have got an, a, an, a pin, a candle, uh, a round towel, which there might be people who already got these as well. And July's theme is As You Wish. So, I do have the Lit Joy Crate add-ons for July coming. I do have got some of those um, for items. I did miss out on the restock on some of that stuff because um, obviously I'm not a Lunacorn uh, accessible. So, I wasn't able to get that, which is a little bit upsetting. So, I'm hoping they'd be able to restock those candles because I'm not going to have the full set. Um, so, yes, that's pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm really do, I'm looking forward to next month uh, for this month's theme, shall I say? For July's theme, it's going to be interesting as you wish. What will be in the box? Now, um, I would like to say uh, for August for next month, um, I do have a new box coming. It's only for that month. It will come separately, and I believe I will have the same book as the Fairy Loop book, which I feel like it's going to be that. So I will have. To, uh, we'll just wait and see when it comes. And I believe I have a special edition box of Twilight coming as well for next month. So look out for those guys because I will be doing a lot more special edition boxes, a lot more stuff because I can't wait to get these on. So that is it. Sorry if I look like a mess in these videos. It's painting time and get things done. But if you got this box, what was your favourite item in this box? Mine is definitely the chopping board and definitely the teacup. It's actually amazing. I love it. 
these two you can't paint. I feel like you don't want to use this and don't want to get it dirty because you feel like you're doing it wrong. I am going to check out if anyone else got different ones. If it says it says varieties, so if someone else did get different um, different ones of designs, I would like to have a look and see what they designed, what they had, because I don't mind these. These are cool, pretty cool. The Gotham's, the Gotham Truth Girls. Mm. Honey, you mean hungry? Kind of thing like that. And um, so yeah. That is it for June's Lit Joy Crate, so I guess I'll see you guys when July's Lit Joy Crate comes. I have no idea on that yet. Um, so that is all June's boxes uh, finally arrived. We are just waiting for July's boxes to come, which is Akibento, Lit Joy Crate, Fairy Loot, Enchanted Fandom is my new box that I will be getting because it has a recipe card in it. Who does not want a box that gives you a fandom? Um, recipe cards. Hell oh, yes, and I believe it gets to give you candles and vessels in there as well, which is gonna be fun because I'm looking forward to that theme. And there's that, and I think that's it. So yes, so we're waiting for those boxes for July. So we are still quite behind our boxes because everything's still going on and everything going missing. We uh, hopefully everything goes back to normal and everything goes back to and um, hope everything goes back all right. So um, if you have, if you registered by seeing these, it's fine. You've probably seen these videos, so you can just probably skip through these if you feel like it. Um, and don't forget, guys, I've almost forgotten the other video to mention it. Don't forget, guys, if I get to 350 subscribers, someone's going to win an April Fangirl monthly box with a list of some, some other goodies. And if I get to 500 subscribers, someone's going to get the April um, Akivente box with some little goodies. Um... I just hopefully, if you are watching this guys and you are new to my channel, just click that subscribe button and we can get these subscribers up because I do want to give do more giveaways because they seem to be fun and fun to do to curate them and everything like that. So I do have a, um, the 350 subscriber box ready to go. Um, I'm not going to show you what's inside it because it's just going to be a complete mystery for whoever wins it. And I did say it's going to be non-international until I find out what the international shipping will be. Um, so the first box for 350 subscribers is non-international, so no international at the moment, but 500 subscribers guys is the international box if you want to get that. And anyway, so all you've got to do is be subscribed to my channel, okay? And you can comment in any video if you want, doesn't matter. Anyway, so that's all I have time for, thank you guys for this video, or uh, watching this video I guess. And I'll see you guys when the box comes. I wonder what's going to be in there. Hmm, bye bye for now.